working in the restaurant industry and you know started off uh, washing dishes cooking uh, worked my way up to waiting tables bartending that was pretty impactful because you work with such a diverse group of people and there's a focus on on client service and customer experience and that's something that to this day I, I focus on in my job in public accounting my first job was actually working in my mom's insurance agency. She has had that business for more than 30 years and it just taught me the importance of customer service, good work ethic. I got that $5 an hour that I'm sure wasn't really minimum wage, but she just taught me to really strive for what I wanted and to work hard all the time. And so I'm so grateful for my mom for giving me my first big break. So my very first job was as a car detailer at Poppy's Car Wash on Route 13. It was a very unglamorous job, but it was all the world to me. It taught me that there was honor in work, that it doesn't matter where you come from, that people could come together and they could work together to do something that was productive. In addition, I learned how to detail my own car, so that works, my wife likes it. Any cause that supports the fight against childhood cancer is important to me. Seeing my cousin sick when he was five years old was really tough, and even watching how that affected his family was, was really hard to see. But now that, thankfully, that he's older and he's healthy, and seeing how much him and his family give back and help those people that are in the fight now is really inspiring to see. Mentoring is a cause that I'm very passionate about, and it is very close to my heart. I had a number of great mentors that stood in the gap during difficult times in my life, and because of that, I am inspired to be a mentor today to other students as well. A cause that is uh, close to my heart is uh, the Delaware High School Mock Trial Program. I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of uh, really great attorney coaches, judges, students, and I feel like, you know, while I hope I've taught the students a thing or two, they've taught me a lot about, you know, not only how to uh, lawyer, but, you know, life. Anything that's revolved around mental health awareness or uh, suicide prevention, um, only because it's something that's so prevalent and not talked about a lot in these days. Um, a lot of children and even adults um, deal with it on a daily basis and nobody really knows what's going on in their everyday lives. So um, that's definitely something I would support. The person that gave me my first big break was actually a woman that won this award a few years ago. Uh, her name is Tamika Easter and she hired me as an intern when I was a senior at the University of Delaware on the social media team there. Um, and although I didn't necessarily have any marketing or social media experience, Tamika told me that she saw some positive progression in my resume and noticed that I was coachable. And without her, I wouldn't have gotten my first step in the door at Sally May or be where I am today. So thank you, Tamika. Oh man, in 20 years, I plan to leave the banking industry and probably be fully into consulting for leadership. I feel like I can be more influential to create greater leaders um, in the industry as a consultant than I can just by managing them. I wanna give them advice and be able to touch them on an individual level. In 20 years, I see myself being on the other side of the startup table and being a venture capitalist myself and being able to give startups the fuel they need to grow in their journey as entrepreneurs.